Okay, well here the new horse is he's yellow. Would you like a carrot? I'm not sure if you could have carrots. I don't really know. I might about you. Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new, welcome and welcome to today's video. So when I'm filming this, it's actually Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I am so thankful for all of you that watch my channel and support my channel by subscribing. So on that note, if you guys want to be extra thankful, make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance for my post notification shout out. So I'm sure you guys are pretty excited by the title of this video because, yeah, you guys see the title. I'm not even going to say it because you guys see it. But since it's Thanksgiving, I like to just be extra special with my pets. So I brought out a bunch of carrots, literally, to give them all carrots this morning and celebrate Thanksgiving with them. So. A little bit of suspense, a little bit of a wait in this video. Um, I guess we'll just address the title because there's a new horse at the farm, but uh, you guys are gonna have to wait just a little bit longer into the video and don't skip ahead. You need to see the horses get carrots. So let's go ahead and disperse these carrots and then we'll get into all of everything with the new horse because that new horse is here right now. I'm looking at this new horse and I'm gonna have to give this horse a carrot. So let's start. Three horses are outside. Two horses, well, three horses are inside. You guys just heard the horse talk. But these two are here in stalls next to each other, um, Blake and Junie, because the other horse is across from them. So we'll get to that. But let's start dispersing these carrots. Junie is very excited <laughs> to get this carrot. There you go. Happy Thanksgiving, Junie. Junie, bite it. Good girl. I'm actually surprised she's going right in for it. Sometimes she's very skeptical of carrots. Okay, well, now you have it all. What are you going to do with it? It's in her mouth. Down the hatch, sister. That was quick, you didn't even save her your carrot. Blaze, stay over here so she doesn't attack you. Nice. This is a very thick carrot at the end here. So much bigger compared to the others. You want more carrot cake? Whoa, she almost got my fingers there. All right, let's go see if the donkey and the goats want some because the goats actually really like carrots. I gotta find a little thin one for them. Good morning, wake up! I have carrots! Jenny, wake up! Here's carrots. Here, this one's for you. <laughs> too, too much, too much for one time. Here, Dinky. Oh my gosh, sorry, Dinky. <laughs> oh goodness! There you go. Go away! This is Dinky's Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He took a little bite. <laughs> there you go, Dinky. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. This is an epic fail. Okay, we have to see Minnie. Minnie! <laughs> Minnie doesn't want the carrot, so we'll get her some goat snacks really quick. There you go, Minnie. Go over here, goat. And he is eating the goat snacks. Go away. Go away! I have four goat snacks left. Really, go! There you go, Minnie. Okay, that was kind of crazy. Now let's go do the other three horses and give them their carrots. Hey, Diggy, you're so dirty. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. It's good, huh? Bite it, Cash. <laughs> Louie, come here, baby. I'll get you in a minute. Here. You're so slow. He always has to do the tiniest bites. Just eat the carrot. <laughs> Louie loves carrots. <laughs> oh. Hello. Go away. Here. I have to just use the spared carrot to distract him. Wait, buddy. You're still chewing and you guys want more? I have two carrots, one left for the new horse. So you have a bite, everyone gets one bite. Okay, that's your bite. Take your bite. Oh, that was, here buddy. 
<laughs> now we have two more horses to give this to. All right, let's see if I'm gonna lose my fingers. Please, I'm sorry, you might not get a bite of this. Ah, she took it, it's okay, I'll give him this tiny bit. There you go. All right, you guys, now it's time to meet the new horse, and then I'll explain everything about the new horse. Okay, well, here the new horse is, he's yellow. Would you like a carrot? I'm not sure if you really have carrots, I don't really know much about you. Here you go. Well, I think she likes carrots. So yes, she is a mare. There you go, good girl. Good girl. And I was told that she is 15 and that she's a Tennessee walker. She just got here last night um, around like 6 p.m. June is trying to escape. Don't do that. But she is actually not our horse, so hate to break it to you guys, but she's a really nice horse. And basically why she's here is she's just renting a room from us. So that's why I need to introduce you guys to her because she's gonna be here for probably close to a month and you guys will probably see her. So we have to address the horse in the room. <laughs> that was so thorny. And why there's another horse here and who she is. So her name is May and like I said she's 15 and she's a Tennessee walker and um, she's been adopted by a rescue so her rescues facility wasn't completely prepared for her just yet. So we offered to let her stay here in the meantime. So that's why we have another horse here. So um, we will be taking care of her in the mornings and at nights. We'll be feeding her and doing everything for her um, while she's here with us. She hasn't been out to pasture yet at all. Um, she probably really won't be out to pasture with her horses probably just keep her separate because she's not going to be here for long. So we don't want to go through that initiation period. She looks really good. I don't want to have any cuts or kicks on her or anything like that before she goes to her permanent home. So that's where we're at. But guys, does she not have like the biggest, fluffiest ears ever? None of my horse's ears are this big. She has huge ears. They're so fluffy. Are you fluffy? And she's so nice. She's obviously kind of skeptical of us still. She doesn't even know me for 24 hours. Like I said, she just got here last night at 6.30 p.m. And right now it's about nine in the morning. So here we are. Right, Miss May? How are you? So she's in Louie's stall, so she'll rotate through. We're probably gonna keep her in the stall during the day and out at night because she is a really dark horse. Um, it's still kind of hot here in Florida. So we think it's better if she's under shade during the day and she can be out at night. Was that so yummy? Are we friends now? I think we're friends because she's a little skeptical of me and now she is all about me. Are we friends? Are we friends? We should probably get your halter off now. We want to take your halter off? We never use these type of halters. I always use rope halters. It's a little different for me. I haven't used one of these in a while. There you go. How's that? Oh, that must feel nice. So we are about to do our feeding routine now that we gave them all carrots. So I'm gonna go in and I'm actually gonna clean um, May's stall, get a little more acclimated with her, um, and then we'll start to feed everyone. Meanwhile, Mike is gonna also be cleaning stalls as well so we can get these done. Stalls are done and cleaned for everybody. Water is filling out in the pasture. Now it's time to feed everyone and I wanna show you May's routine. This is May's food in here. I'm not really sure actually what type of grain it is, but there's the grain. So they brought everything that she needed with hay and grain. So she gets a half a scoop of this. And like I said, I don't know what it is, but this is what it looks like. So she actually gets Dex put into her feed. So a lot of the times I've talked to you guys about triggers allergies in the summer and he's often put on Dex. We try to eliminate Dex from his diet um, mostly and try to do other things because the Dex actually makes him not sweat. So that's a little backstory with Dex and trigger. So this horse gets Dex um, as well during the summer months. So I have this syringe 
I have a little needle here just to get it out. So trigger warning, if you guys don't like needles, don't watch. It's not going into anything except the bottle, but still. So she gets six cc's, so I just put it right here. And here, flip it over. So now that we're at the six, I just pull it out and I just put it right under her feed. There it is. Okay, hello. Are you ready to eat? There you go, ma'am. And then she just gets a flake. And I'm not sure if I said it, but we're still leaving her in today. We're not letting her out because she's in during the day. So she has been in the stall for just a bit, but she'll be good. Are you guys hungry too? Sorry, I fed her first. He's like, that's not even your horse. I know. She's a guest. There you go, buddy. You're next. So it's the next morning. I have uh, quickly shifted on holidays. My shirt says Mary, but it's Black Friday. So I actually never filmed last night's routine with May because it was a little bit crazy. We had to move horses in random places and stuff like that. So we switched everybody over and I'll show you where everybody is because it's kind of all over the place, but now it's gonna be a little bit all over the place too, trying to get her back in. It should be actually easier today than letting them out yesterday because you'll see why, but let's do that. We have Blaze and may she's looking into cash's stall and then junie girl hi baby hi how are you how are you girl and miss dinky and her goats so first step so obviously you can see may is back there dinky that didn't seem like it felt too good so i'm gonna bring may back here behind the barn in this little turnout area come here may come here horse Horsey. It's kind of interesting because I really don't know this horse that well, so sometimes I forget. Come on, May. Come on, girl. Let's go. Good girl. Okay, so she's just going to hang back here. Hopefully her and June don't go at it, but we'll see. Okay, so she'll sit back here. So now that May is back there, you can't see her right now, but we opened this stall because we're gonna make the three horses go in there. But we have to go on a little walk for them. So Mike has the pig food because we're gonna feed the pigs while we go over there. But we put Louie, Trigger, and Cash over with the cows just because we didn't know how May does with cows yet. And we wanted her to at least see them through the fence. But these guys are good with the cows and they're not menaces over here. So we're just gonna open up this gate and let them come through and they will go into the barn. Good morning. Go on, hurry up guys. Hurry up Lulu. Good job. Hi baby, go to the barn. Those two over there are headed that way. So they all pretty much get it. Louis was actually just in the barn and then he decided to come out of the barn because we were out here, I guess. Come on, Louis, we're going in. Go on. Go into the barn. Good boy. I just feel like sometimes they really understand what I'm saying. <laughs> June is done eating and Blaze, we fed them. Now we have Cash. Everybody's actually in their respective places, but it's time to let out June and Blaze now that no one's in the back pasture. And then we're gonna switch the horses around even more. Let's go, buddy. Go this way. All right, so these guys are pretty used to this. June and Blaze do this daily. All right, slow down. Okay, so now that they're out, I'll close them back up. And then this is where things are a little interesting. Luckily, this is kind of temporary, but we're gonna move Louie over to Blaze's stall because we don't want May by these horses because June will be mean to May through the stall. So that's why we won't put May where those horses. Louie's probably gonna try to go into June's stall 
Wrong stall, buddy. Come on. Go in there. Be nice, Cassie. Okay, great. So now, as almost everybody's done, last but not least, May will go into Louis' stall. So May doesn't really like know like these back turnouts and things like that, so she's just learning all of this. You rolled a lot, girl, you're dirty. And there she is, getting some water. Well, I thought she was, but no. And now they can look out the front. And now it's time to feed everyone. So while we're feeding everybody, we're actually gonna deworm her um, just because she came from another facility. I just wanna make sure that, you know, my horses don't um, run into any issues as well. So this is the wormer, the dewormer, I should say. And let's go see how she does. All right, May, so Mike's gonna do the honors and he's just gonna do this how we normally do this with all of our horses and see, again, we don't really know her, but we're just gonna see what she does. Down the hatch. Oh! That's why you get extra. Oh. <laughs> so she did pretty good with that. So um, she probably weighs about maybe 750, 800, maybe a little bit more, but we always go up about 150, well, 100, 150 pounds more on our dewormers just in case of stuff like that. So we have a little bit of overs. So they always get at least enough. So everyone's fed now, everyone just needs to get hay. And that is pretty much the whole routine with how we're doing things here with the new horse at our farm. So pretty interesting. Um, we haven't had another horse in our barn, like I think ever maybe that, I don't think, right? Have we ever had another horse that wasn't ours? Um, oh, we did, right when we first moved in, um, we had two other horses that were my friend's horses. Uh, actually three, oh my goodness, that lived with us. And you guys probably remember them. Those were X, Cisco, and Spirit. Um, so yeah. It's been a while since that, um, but she won't be here for too long with us, but you definitely will see her probably in a couple videos. So that's why I figured I'd tell you guys that she's here so you guys don't wonder who that horse is. All right, you guys, well, that is it for today's video. Again, happy Thanksgiving and we're almost to Merry Christmas. But you guys will see this probably the day after um, Thanksgiving or maybe the Saturday after Thanksgiving. I'm not really sure, but I hope you guys all had a really nice holiday and got to spend it the way that you wanted to. But I just wanted to let you guys know how thankful I am for you all. And if you guys like today's video, make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, if a chance my post notification shout out, today's shout out goes too. All right, you guys, we love you and we'll see you in the next one.